Do you have a bad case of VC? Have you been VC'd? Symptoms are numerous. Do you feel a burning sensation? Are you nauseous, upset stomach, clammy hands? Are you sleepless at night? Do you feel anxious? Do you have a low frustration threshold? Are you developing a distrust in humanity? Do you get sphincter flutter, sphincter flutter with every notification? You, my friend, may have been VC'd. What is being VC'd? Being VC'd is what entrepreneurs experience when trying to raise capital from investors, from venture capitalists, angels, incubators, accelerators, you name it. The list is long, but can include classic time wasters such as ghosting, jumping through never-ending hoops, the never-ending give me an update, another update, how many updates do you need? Inability to keep a meeting. You are always rescheduling. I hate you. We hate you. Every entrepreneur hates you. The keep me in the loop syndrome. The send me the deck send off. Now these, these are the little things, the tiny things, the things that aren't going to necessarily kill you. But there's outrageous and harmful things that can. The due diligence bleed. That's where they bleed you for every iota of information and then, and then hand off trade secrets to competitors or bad bait and switch stuff like investing, listen to this one, it actually happens, and then tanking your firm purposely. Copying and stealing your model. That's another one, just saw it happen. Pay to play meetings, pay to play conferences, just so you know, they're not real investors. Discrimination, that is real. The infinite term sheet negotiation. Oh my God, are you kidding me? We could have built the company in the amount of time that you took to do due diligence. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And my pet peeve, being jilted at the altar, at the altar, right at closing. It actually happened. So make damn sure who you get in bed with before you get VC'd because antibiotics are not a cure.